The Wandering Crafter. Today's video is going to demonstrate how to knit a dishcloth. So this is a fairly simple uh, knitting project for those of you who are just starting out. This is actually the project that my friend taught me when I was first starting. Um, so for supplies, I have size 8 knitting needles and I have a roll of peaches and cream 100% cotton yarn. Um, you can pick this up at Walmart or any craft store. Um, so to get started, I have five stitches casted on my needle. And so we are going to knit the first two stitches. And then we are going to yarn over and that's going to make a new stitch for us. And then continue knitting to the end. There we go, and then we're going to turn that around. And then we're going to work that same pattern. So we're going to knit the first two stitches. yarn over and knit until the end. I liked this project starting out because I really needed to get that knit stitch down and this will certainly help with that. So we've come to the end of our row again so we'll spin it around. to knit the first two stitches and then yarn over and knit until the end. So every row that we do, we are adding a stitch by doing that yarn over step. So we started with five and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, so we are going to repeat that same pattern that we've been doing until we have 50 stitches on our needles. So I will meet back with you after I've gotten to that point. All right, so we are back with half of our dishcloth done. So we have 50 stitches on our knitting needles. And you can see we've created this nice little pattern for our dishcloth. Um, so the next step is to start decreasing so we can get the last half of this finished. I'm just going to slide this back down. So for the decrease round, we are going to knit one. And then we are going to knit two stitches together. So one, two, through both of them. And then just knit it the same way. There we go. And then to keep this um, little space pattern that we have down the sides, you're going to yarn over and then knit two stitches together again. And then continue knitting down the row. Then I will meet back with you guys 
um, after I am at the end of this row and I will walk you through how to do that decrease round a few more times. All right, so I finished that first decrease round, so I'm going to show you again the first steps at the beginning of your row. So again, we are going to knit one, and then knit two stitches together. So go behind these two stitches, put your needle through both of them, yarn over to continue our pattern, and then knit two together once again. And then we are going to continue knitting down this row and keep working that same decrease pattern until you have four stitches left on your needles. And after you do a few rows, you'll, you'll start to tell that it's starting to work its way into a corner. You can kind of tell already very slightly. So I'll meet you back soon. And we're back and we are down to our last five stitches on the dishcloth. Just move some stuff out of there, making all sorts of noise. So this is our nearly finished project. Um, so what we are going to do now with these last stitches um, is I'm gonna cut a generous length um, just to tuck in those last stitches. So I'm going to give myself a better foot or so. It's always better to give yourself extra. All right, so you can either take a darning needle or I'm going to use a crochet hook because it's what I have with me. Um, so what I do here is I make sure I have a really good hold of where those stitches are so I don't lose them. And I'm going to pull out my needle. I know a lot of people would be like, no, I don't do that, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my crochet hook and put it through those five loops, being careful not to lose any of them. And I did that backwards. You want to start from the other end because you want to grab this piece of yarn. If you're using a darning needle, that wouldn't have been a problem. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, so I'll come through this side. One, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to hook that yarn over. I'm just going to flip this around because I'm right-handed and that would make life a little easier. There we go. And we are just going to take that yarn and pull it all the way through. And I'm going to keep that loop on my crochet hook. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull it through. And from here you can either um, continue to make a chain and make kind of a loop here. I'll kind of demonstrate what that would look like while we're here. Just make a chain however many you want. I'll say that looks good. And then you just bring it back down here into our first loop. And then you can pull that through and knot it and then you'll have a little little hook for your dishcloth but I'm not going to do that so I am going to get rid of that chain again just being careful where you're watching where your loop is so I'll put my crochet hook back through that loop and then I'm going to pull this yarn all the way through And then I will get a better angle to show you what this looks like finished. All right, and here we have our finished dishcloth. If this video was helpful for you guys, please give it a like. Oh, there's a fuzzy. <laughs> please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, The Wandering Crafter. And if you guys have any crafting tutorials you would like me to do for you, um, you can leave it in the comments below or send me an email. That one right there. Thanks, guys.